What is up, Trainters? Ludo here with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. Right now, we are heading into the mall to the Vancouver Sprint Gym store because we're doing a last minute Deoxys. Okay, so we are home from the Deoxys raid. No need to see it because uh, we didn't do it. Well, we did do it, but we didn't complete it. So I had a prior appointment and I didn't get out until about 10 after and I got into the chat and there was still people going. So I just headed right over there and it was only one person. So we tried our hardest to duo it, but uh, it, no. Like, uh, it can be duoed, uh, but you have to be uh, ultra friends and you have to be like level 40s using all the right Pokemon with the right moves. So, fortunately we did not get it, so our first Deoxys was a total bust. And even using all of my Tyranitars, we only got it about, uh, I mean, we didn't do too bad. We didn't get it in the red, but we got it really close to the red. So it wasn't too bad, but that happens. It's, it's not the end of the world. I do plan on going out the rest of this week and raiding at the certain uh, EX raid gyms and uh, hoping that, you know, this next week that they do it again and they throw out some EX passes and I get another chance. But still, uh, you know, I only used all of my Tyranitar and I could have used so much more and I probably could have done better probably could have done a little better if I had used more so we're gonna go over really quick what it is that you need to take down Deoxys per the chance you get to so one the max CP you're gonna be looking for with a Deoxys is 1570 and that is without a weather boost and then with a weather boost would be 1963 so those are the two top uh, CP you're gonna want to look for that's gonna be a hundred percent Deoxys IV so if you get that uh, you're lucky he apparently is a little bit tankier than Mewtwo himself uh, from the EX Raids to take down. So he's gonna have Zen Headbutt and Charge Beam as his fast moves, and he's gonna have Psycho Boost, Thunderbolt, or Hyper Beam as his charge move. Deoxys itself is weak to Bug, Dark, and Ghost types. So your Pincers maxed out, Sizers maxed out, your Gengars, Absols, and you could even use a Mewtwo as uh, uh, if it has the shadow ball move and of course Rayquaza, Tyranitar, uh, what else? Uh, there's there's a there's quite a bit that you could use given you don't actually have the top counters for it and of course link down below will be the article from GoHub that you can go and look yourself to see what you can do what moves you need what uh, the CP range possibilities you'll need of your Pokemon uh, depending on how many people you go in with but all in all success uh, around the globe as the first round of Deoxys went out. So congratulations to you if you got your Deoxys. I'm super jelly. We will get it sooner or later. And currently, uh, just to note, only the normal form is out right now. So the speed, attack, and defense forms are not out yet. W uh, who knows if they will come out. We do have those forms in the decks and in uh, the game, but it, it, we don't really have a speed attribute in this game besides DPS, and that'd be a little weird to base it off that, in my opinion. But that is it for the Deoxys raid info. Beside that, we do have new raid bosses for this new little, uh, you know, shift they're doing with the EX raids. So in tier ones, you have Drowsy, Magikarp, Metadite, and Whalmer. Magikarp, Metadite, and Whalmer all have shiny possibilities. Tier two, you have Slowbro, Executor, and Krilla, and Mawile with a shiny possibility. Tier three is Alolan Raichu, Alakazam, Starmine, Jinx, and Claydol. And then tier four is Marowak, Houndoom, Tyranitar, 
are an Absol, and Absol has a shiny form as we all know. And then of course tier 5's the legendary right now is Mewtwo, as we all know that as well. He'll be here for a while still. Along with this change in uh, raid bosses and whatnot, of course we get a change in the research box. And that's the real reason why uh, we have this change, because we have the Suicune research. So you can complete your research tasks and get yourself a Suicune now, the legendary dog beast cat thingy. Max CP for that is 12. 10, so you're gonna, uh, it can't be weather boosted, it is through a research task. The fast moves it's gonna be able to have is Extensory and Snarl, and then the charge moves is Hydro Pump, Bubble Beam, and Water Pulse. And this is here for the whole month, so you have, I believe it's five possibilities to get yourself a sweet coon. So get out there, complete your research tasks. Uh, uh, along with that, there are as well new research tasks. So let's go over those real quick, because we do have some of them. Starting off, we have a new spin to form number one. So go out and find yourself a task that is make two great curveball throws. That'll get you the brand new spin to form number one. Along with this shift, we have a new shiny and that's Krabby. And you can obtain that by doing catch five Pokemon or catch five water type Pokemon. And that'll give you a, 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 a Krabby encounter and that has a shiny possibility. And then in my opinion, one of the probably best ones, trade a Pokemon, you get a Feebas. You don't encounter those much, and uh, a lot of people still don't have their Melodics, so it, I only have one. It takes quite a bit to get a good Feebas, so I kind of really like that one. But as you can see here, these are all the other tasks. There's a lot of shiny possibilities in uh, this October re field research round. So super fun, super exciting. Gonna go uh, out and uh, get ourselves a spin a task. We know where one is for this evening and we're gonna go and grab that before the end of the evening. And we also do have a catch five water type Pokemon and I need to catch one more. So as you can see here, we have quite a few things to claim. So let's start off by claiming our uh, first month Suicune, 1170. And uh, top was 1210. You know, whatever, I'm gonna pineapple it. An Ultra Ball it. Wasn't the greatest throw. But uh, it, it, Suicune is very pretty. I do, it's the, it's the one from the anime that you saw first uh, when they got into the Johto region. So it is iconic in my opinion. More, it, it's a little more iconic because it's the very first one you saw. Hey, you are not that fantastic, bro. Can you just stay in the ball? I really would like to get it on a pineapple. Like, that would be ideal, please. Ooh, an excellent throw there. But they don't like those. You know, I would like to get it on a pineapple, but if I have to get it on a golden raz, I would rather just get it. Because this last month with Entei, I held on to my researches so long and uh, didn't really find the right opportunities to kind of uh, claim them. There we go. So uh, I'm glad I don't have to hold on to this. Oh, right there, duh. <laughs> because Suicude is a water type, we get our uh, fifth water type caught right there. So let's check the IV on this really quick. Strong. Another Suicune in the bag. Woohoo. Shiny check it's not to. No, and there's another not to there to check as well. If we could wander back that way. So let's claim that last one. It was this bottom one here. Shiny Krabby? No. Bummer. Five, five, five. What is that even? Strong. And then this was uh, hatch two eggs. We've done that one as well, I guess, for the task. 594. Amazing. HP, def attack. Mm. And then this one was battle in a gym. A bullbusher. Not a shiny though. Bummer. Strong. Ugh. Not getting good ones from these at all. 
And then this one, these are all of my leftovers that have been stacked that I haven't really gotten to. We're not gonna get to them now. Uh, I need to do, I do need to take care of them. I don't even remember what's in them. I do think there is actually an older Spinda in them as well. Anyways, let's go get the new Spinda task. And uh, yeah, so we will see you at the, 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 at the stop where we get the Spinda task. We will catch the Spinda. I'm already talking like a spinda. So we will see you down there. Okay, so we went to the supposed stop and it was not a make two great curveball throws, but it was a evolved 10 water type Pokemon. So uh, we have that, we have trade a Pokemon and we catch five. So we need to do those. We came down to the fort for a little night stock up, so we're just gonna hang out down here. Hopefully down here we can find a spin to task. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm not gonna, the only other two are all the way, that's like 20 minutes east, and I'm not going all the way over there to do that. We can uh, wait and maybe find one tomorrow. But for right now, we're just gonna hang out down here, collect some uh, stops, and see if we can find a spin to task. So if we do, you'll know, because we'll see you back at home to complete that and to complete these. So we're just gonna see you back at home because it's really dark, you don't wanna see all this, and I'm not ready to do spooky episodes yet, but they're coming. Let's just, let's, let's find the Spinda. Let's find the Spinda. Okay, we are back home. We have eggs hatching. We did go to the told to us spot that had the task and it did not as you guys know then we went down to the fort and we walked the whole entire fort and it's about every stop and not one of them contained a spin to task found plenty of uh, evolve water types catch five water like three great throws but not the right one which is uh, make two great curveball throws so no Spinda for this evening, but we'll see what we can hatch here. We did hatch uh, another Kangaskhan earlier today, Meowth. So that was nice to add more candies to the Kangaskhan. It was a, a maze and defense, so nothing great. Sand Shrew here, nothing great either. So hopefully this last one will be a Mime or Kanga. A Tauros. It was a regional. But as I said, we did pick up two of the uh, water tasks. That one right there for the candies was the, uh, we, we, we just did it, hat, the eggs, hatch eggs, that's what we just, but these two are the catch five water type and that gives you a Krabby. So we'll see. Not a shame. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's check this other one. <clears throat> no Spinda, no Krabby. Ugh. Oh, and we did the Evolve 10 Water uh, type Pokemon, and it wasn't a shiny Dratini either. I almost think that that one should be like a guaranteed shiny. Evolving 10 Water type Pokemon, that's a lot of work. That's a, that's a lot to do. Why do I have two October 2nd research stamps? That's very odd. That like puts me a, 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 a day ahead already. <laughs> we'll see if that ends up ever fixing itself. I hope not. But that's that. No Spinda and no Shiny Krabby, unfortunately, but they are out there. So uh, be sure to be checking your Krabbies and finding the stops that contain the make two great curveball throws so you can get your new form number one Spinda. And for now, we're gonna wrap it up here. So please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and comment, did you get your Deoxys today or a Shiny Krabby or your Spinda form number one? And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye! Just kidding. Just when you thought that this episode was kind of boring. So I've already uploaded everything and I'm already editing it right now. And uh, of course I'm gonna throw this in at the end of it because this is still part of the same day and this is still part of the same episode. So we got ourselves a shiny. It's not a shiny Krabby, but it's a shiny. So as we do, Pineapp and Ultra Ball, come, come, come this way, my little teal friend. Okay, let's, 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 let's try that a uh, little better this time. There we go. It's been a while since I've encountered a Shuppet. 
Ah, now I have two, because I already had one from the event last year. And, oh my God, it's almost been like a year since I got it. Wow. Moment of truth. Strong. Yay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yay. How fun. I love this little teal guy. He's so cute. Two for two? No. Oh well, there you go. You had to enjoy that. Now we're gonna close it. We'll see you in the next one.